what's happening world. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be making a, a pink sea witch with a little bit of mylar, a pink squid skirt. Um, these are some of the things you're going to need. You're going to need pink hair, you're going to need a squid skirt, um, and head. It really doesn't matter what color head it is because I'm going to hide it in the uh, squid skirt. Some wax line. I'll be using some scotch tape. Um, you got to have your scissors, uh, some glue, and your mylar. So uh, these are the things you're gonna need. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna need to get this one started is uh, your sea witch head. Um, I'm gonna use a, a half ounce sea witch head and then a three inch squid skirt. So what I do is I just open up the squid skirt and I insert the head. Now, um, some people will just cut the squid skirt and lash it on uh, to the bottom of the head. I use the whole, I stick it up in there and use the whole thing. Um, so it doesn't really matter, but I line the eyes of the, uh, with the eyes, you know, kind of makes sense. Anyway, so that's the first thing you have to do. So the next part is you're gonna need your mylar. I, uh, this is actually mylar for, for uh, fly tying, um, so for like, you know, fly fishermen. They have a little bit thicker uh, material that most people use for sea witches, um, islanders, and, and, and marlin lures, things like that. So, but I like this silly, uh, this thin, I like a, a, a subtle flash, so this thin works fine. So, so this next part can be a little bit tricky. It's actually why I um, use a little bit of scotch tape for this next part. So what I do is I will take my mylar and I will lay it on the scotch tape with a little bit of overhang, maybe an inch or so of overhang. Kind of spread it out on the scotch tape, you know. It doesn't have to be pretty or perfect or anything like that. So you just lay it out on the scotch tape. Now you take your um, your sea witch, uh, your squid skirt rather, and you lay it so the groove where you're going to put your wax line is going to be below the section of tape. So you're just using the tape as a way to wrap the um, mylar kind of around the head like so right now that you have your mylar attached the next thing you're going to need is your wax line um, you don't need a, a lot with this because you're only going to make like one wrap maybe two wraps so just give yourself a, enough to tie with I mean I, I waste a lot of wax line personally so I usually pull off more than, than what I need. This is a, a solid 16 to 80, 18 inches, um, which I will not need for this. How you want to tie like you would a normal sea witch. Um, you just want to lay out your wax line, lay your squid skirt and sea witch head in place. And you just want to go one, two for your double overhand. Pull it down nice and tight. And flip it over. Move the mylar out of the way. And do this, the same thing, just double overhand. One, two. And so now I will do another double overhand, which will complete this. Not. All right, so now you just take your scissors and remove your excess uh, wax line, like so. Okay. Now you can remove your tape because now your wax line is holding. Um, and this part could be a little tricky because sometimes you over over stick your tape. So, so. 
off camera, I uh, cut a little slit in the tape to uh, help me uh, get this tape off without tearing the, the mylar up too bad. Um, So there we go. All right, so the mylar is attached to the sea witch head and the squid skirt. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna put our hair on here. This is the hair. We're gonna just do a pink on pink with a uh, mylar. So just uh, take a little pinch off, you know, however much hair you want. I'm, I'm really not a judge. I see people make them thick, see people make them thin. It is uh, really entirely up to you. So, get your wax line, pull off about two feet of wax line, and you're going to want to chop that off. And stretch that out and take your, your sea witch and move it off to the side. Now place your hair on your wax line, like so. Uh, I think that might be a bit much hair, but I'm going to go with it anyway. So now lay your mylar same direction as the hair and tie your your first your first double overhand knot. One, two. I'll flip it over and tie you a another double overhand knot. So one, two. Now I leave myself a little bit of slack at this point so I can roll the hair around the sea witch and try to get it even. You want to evenly spread out. Okay, give a little roll over. I'll look at them. This. All right. So now we can pull these tight and continue the process of layering on the uh, the wax line and getting it good and cinched, uh, so your hair is going to stay on there. Five or six times is sufficient. All right, and to, to complete it, do a double overhand, double overhand, and a third double overhand. Now you take your scissors, you cut off your excess wax line. All right. So now is the, the trimming process. I'll take it in my hand, pull the head just south of my hand, and what is remaining, I chop it off. And there you go. Got some, some, some mylar, some flash. All right. And so now I'll go to the bottom here and I'll cut a lot of this off, maybe leaving uh, a little less than an inch, right around an inch. Just, just 
spin it and chop it. All right, that's it. Nothing, nothing real special. Just pink on a pink squid skirt with some mylar flash in there. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Later.